Hello, I'm back. Uh, we have completed the very first uh, sequence programming. So we have uh, generated the seven states starting from all off all the way to delay on read. But however, do notice that uh, if you were to run this program, uh, the program will only execute once, right? Because uh, there is no uh, while loop to enclose this part of the program. So what we can do is that we can uh, right click on our function palette, go to structures, take the while loop and enclose this entire program. Okay, so now we have a while loop. Uh, we need to introduce a stop for the uh, stop button for this while loop so that we can terminate this while loop. So what we do is that we can select the loop condition terminal here, right click and create a control. So we have introduced a stop button to this program. Now, uh, it is interesting to note that uh, if I may toggle you back to the front panel over here. Now, what, is ha what has happened is that we click the run button. You will notice that uh, this program will run continuously. All right. So it will continue to run from green to amber to red in a very in a continuous fashion. However, do note one thing that uh, if, of course because this the time delay for each interval is very short, it's only two seconds. So if we were to click the stop button at any point in time, the program will not be able to stop instantaneously. Okay, it depends on how fast. The lab view reads the value of the stop. So generally speaking, what I do is uh, to demonstrate to you. Let me switch you over back to the uh, lab view uh, block diagram, and I'm going to turn on the highlight execution, which is this light bulb there. Okay, so you can see that the program will execute in the ordered sequence, starting from one. 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So from 0 to 6. Huh? right? So uh, I will just show you, if I were to switch back and I'll click on the front panel, I'm going to click this stop button. And I'll quickly show you back at the block diagram here. Now notice that I already, just now earlier, already clicked on the stop button. right? But the program does not uh, immediately stop because uh, it waits for a while because you need to finish the sequence execution as you can see there are a couple of sequences here and the lab view will not be able to detect the change in state for the stop button until all the sequences have been completed then only you will read this uh, stop button as you can see so the program finally stop after the the delay on read uh, frame has been completed then only the program has terminated. Okay, so this is one of the key uh, disadvantage of using uh, sequence programming, right? The program will not be able to be terminated uh, instantaneously or immediately whenever the operator hits the stop button. So this is one uh, serious uh, drawback for using sequence programming. So we should try to use sequence programming uh, in more sparringly okay or, or or when only when needed right so i've demonstrated that uh, concept to you now i think it is a good time to save your program so please go to file save as okay and uh, name this program say call the uh, traffic light uh, first sequence uh. okay maybe we call this the file name traffic light first sequence uh, hyphen a dot vi so this is the first program save it first okay save your program thank you for watching